Franklin, hey, have you, like, heard from my dad? Oh, uh, yeah, man, and you should call him. He hasn't been back to the house for a while, and there's some creepy-ass dudes parked outside. Yeah, like I said, man, you should call him. He explain all that shit to you. So he's okay? Great. All right, don't tell him we talked. Yeah, all right, man, but call him. Trevor, hey. Look, I need to tell you something. Your dad's moved in with me. Moved in? Yeah, yeah. We're bunked in together, like old times. He doesn't need Los Santos, he doesn't need that crusty old hag you call mom, and he doesn't need two ungrateful brats. Whoa, Trevor, what? He's with me now. Get used to it. Family life was just an aberration. Hey, Devin. Mike! Hey, 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 whoa. Solomon cannot stop talking about you, bro. I mean, major man crush. Is the feeling mutual? Oh, hell yeah. I'm telling you, whoever said don't meet your heroes, man? Whatever. Anyway, I am the guy to know, right? I make things happen. You did me a favor with the kid in the car, so I did you a favor with the film shit. You keep being useful to me, I'll keep being useful to you. That sound good? Of course it does. Namaste, bro. Michael, my boy, where are you? You're not in rehab. No, I just had to get out of town for a while. Good, because all my friends who went to rehab came back very sanctimonious. We miss you at the studio. Whatever you said to Anton and Milton really worked. They're behaving. You're an important part of this process, Michael. Wow, are you serious? That means a lot to me, Solomon. I'll come see you uh, as soon as I get back. Dad? You little fucking shit. I'm not talking to you. I'm not talking to you until you calm down. You drugged me and ditched me on the sidewalk? A talk is the least I'm owed. Don't you see the drugging is like a symptom of your own breakdown? I'll give you symptoms. How's a cracked skull sound? Goodbye, psycho. Get some help. Want. I miss you. I miss you too. But you gotta learn to chill the fuck out, you crazy nut job. Goodbye. Dad. Hey, kid. How about a bike ride or something? I'm still not ready to see you, Dad. Sorry. Trevor, I was worried. Where, where are you? Back in Sandy Shores, helping Ron run the business. Oh, you need me to come over? Bizarrely, we're coping just fine without you. Stay with Floyd. Anyone asks, you don't know where I am. But I do know. Trevor, dude, what's up? I had to leave town. Shit, I ain't surprised. I heard some funny stories about some dude pinching a real nasty Mexican dude wife, and I'm thinking to myself, maybe that's my man Trevor. I have no idea what you're talking about. Sure, bro. Sure. You can call me when you get back in town. Hello, who this? It's Amanda. Amanda DeSanta. We met at my house. Oh, yeah. Uh, shit, where you at? Look, I know that you and my husband and, and Trevor Phillips are... I don't know what the fuck you're up to, but I can make a pretty good guess. There's some weird things going on. Is he okay? I don't think okay is the right word. But he's alive. You should call him. He'll appreciate that. No, I don't want to speak to him. I just wanted to know he wasn't dead somewhere. Thanks. Don't tell him I called. 
Alright. But look, he ain't doing too good without his family. Hey, Trevor. You got something to tell me? Oh, yeah. Our neighbor came looking for you. Elwood O'Neill. I told him you were back in Sandy Shores. Thank you, Wade. Remind me to kick you in the head when I see you next. Remind you? This is one of those jobs I hope I mess up. 